Yum, yum! Floyd here with a quick look at creating an animated flame in Moto. Start by creating a radial particle emitter. Increase the emission rate to 60. Change the cone angle to 4. The initial velocity to 2 meters. And the velocity speed to 600 millimeters. Select the particle sim item and lower the particle sim max age to 20. Then compute the simulation. Since particles don't render, add a blob item. Use the particle sim as the particle source. Change the radius to 350 millimeters. Stretch particle to 600%. Then add a second key to the size gradient with a value of zero and adjust the curve to help shape the flame. This will decrease the size over the life of the particles. Right click on the blob item and create an item mask. Set the spec and Fresnel value to zero, transparency to 100%, and set the luminous intensity to one. Scrub the timeline to see the silhouette of the flame we've created. Create a gradient with the input parameter set to Y distance to locator and place the locator at the base of the flame. Set the layer effect to luminous color and in the color gradient, create keys that ramp from black to blue to orange. Create another gradient with the input parameter set to incidence and the layer effect set to luminous amount. In the value gradient, create keys that ramp from black to white. Create another gradient with the input parameter set to Y distance to locator and place the locator at the base of the flame. Set its layer effect to luminous amount and in the value gradient, create keys that ramp from black to white. Change the blend mode to multiply so that you can remove the brightness of the base of the flame. Create a fourth gradient with the input parameter set to Y distance to locator and place the locator at the base of the flame. Set the layer effect to luminous amount and in the value gradient, create keys that ramp from black to white and change its blend mode to add. Scrub the timeline to see the shaded flame in action. Experiment with the values for all the attributes to dial in the exact look you're after and you're all set. Oh, look at the time.